Today I'm gonna show you how you can restore your headlights from looking like this to this. The 3000 GT headlights take up restoration very well. They can be brought back to near perfect condition. What you're gonna wanna do is tape off the area around your headlights to avoid damaging your paint. I didn't wanna risk it at all, so I removed my headlights instead. It's super simple, they're just held on by like 5 10 millimeter bolts. The draw side to removing the headlights is that now they're not being held in place. I decided to ruin one of my tables just for this job. I cut the shape of the headlight in my table so it could be secure and I could angle it face up to make it easier to work on. Now this was probably unnecessary, but I also bolted them down just to make sure they weren't going to fall off while working on them. These are $1,000 headlights nowadays, if you can even find them in good shape, so I didn't want to run the risk. We are going to be using 1,000, 2,000, and 3,000 grit sandpaper. These will come included in one of those headlight restoration kits you can buy for like 20 bucks. I bought these sanding discs on Amazon because I wanted to test them out, but I honestly didn't like them. They didn't yield as good results as quality sandpaper. This tool for your drill usually also comes with the kit. The sandpaper attaches to it with Velcro. You can also do it by hand if you don't have a drill. I also use this foam pad because this contours to the shape of the headlight and it helps sand it better. Spray some water on the headlight because it prolongs the life of the sandpaper and you get a more uniform sanding. It also prevents the sandpaper from scratching too deep into the surface. We're sanding off the oxidation on top of the headlight. That's the yellowing you see on your headlight. It's only on the surface, so we're gonna knock it off. I'm starting with 1000 grit. Depending on how much damage you need to sand off, you could start with a lower grit but I've personally never had the need to go lower than 1000 grit. This is enough. Once you think you've finished, dry it off. Then look at the surface and check that all of the oxidation is gone and that it's uniformly sanded. It should look equally cloudy around the entire headlight. And like I said, if you don't have a drill, you can do it by hand. It just takes longer and it's more tiring, but it can be done. Once it's evenly sanded with the 1000 grit, you can start sanding it with the 2000 grit. What this is doing is basically replacing all of the 1000 grit scratches with 2000 grit instead. The higher the grit, the finer that the scratches are. So we're going up grits until all the scratches are so tiny that the surface looks crystal clear. Once we feel like we're finished sanding, we dry it and check. And if it's all even, we can begin sanding it with 3000 grit. Notice how after I finish sanding with the 3000 grit, it is a lot more clear than what we started with. We can still see a lot of scratch marks, but it's getting better. Next up is this wool pad in combination with a polishing compound. I'm gonna be using Meguiar's Plastex. Apply some to the headlight or your wool pad and distribute it evenly. Then you can start polishing it. High speed on the drill yields better results. But don't overdo it and don't let the compound dry too much because you could burn the headlight. Clean it off and check that you're not missing any spots. If you are, go over it again with the wool pad. If the wool pad is not able to remove some scratches, 
it means that they're too deep. Probably leftover scratches from the 1000 grit that were not removed properly with the 2000 grit. If this is the case, you can start from the 2000 grit again, then 3000, then the wool pad again. That's why we have to make sure we sand it enough with every grit, so we don't have to go back any steps. The last step is to apply some UV protectant. This is my favorite one. This is so good it was banned. It's probably a carcinogen I think, because I haven't been able to find it at the store anymore. I had to order this one online from Germany. If you're able to find this one, this is good stuff. But there are other headlight coatings out there, and whatever kit you get will come with one. Apply some headlight coating to a foam pad, then apply it to your headlight. I like to thoroughly apply it on. And at the end, apply it in straight lines across the headlight so it doesn't leave any stray marks. Then let it dry for 24 hours. And this is the final result. I'm not entirely satisfied with it because I know it can be even better. But the sandpaper I used wasn't good enough. Next time, I will buy 3M sandpaper to get that perfect finish. This finish can last you for months or even a year or even more. It all depends on how much your car sits in the sun. I personally do not like to clear coat the headlights, because clear coat also starts fading and peeling after a while, but it is more difficult and time consuming to sand off clear coat than regular oxidation. And I also prefer this OEM finish. I hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, please click the like and the subscribe button, and if you didn't, Subscribe anyway, it's free.